Tuesday, everyone. This is Apostle Val just dropping by with a quick word from the Lord um, to encourage you all today. Um, I've talked to a couple people who have not, they're not complaining, but they're not having their best day today. Hey, Ivy. Hey, Apostle Napolina. God bless you all. Um, and so I just finished cooking dinner for my husband and the Lord uh, just dropped this scripture. Just dropped it in my spirit. And he said, just come on and, you know, encourage my people. And so that's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. And so if you would, well, I know you don't, but just hear me. Just hear me. From Philippians chapter 3, starting at verse 12. It reads this way, not that I've already attained or am already perfected, but I press on that I may lay hold of that for which Christ Jesus has laid hold for me. Hoo hoo. I love the word. Brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do. Forgetting those things which are behind me and pressing, reaching forward to those things which are ahead. I press toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Mm. Thank you, Father. Therefore, let us, as many as are mature, mm, having this mind. And if anything you think otherwise, God will reveal even this to you. Nevertheless, to the degree that we have already attained, let us walk by the same rule. Let us be of the same mind. I'm going to go back up to verse 13. Brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do. Forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead. And so I just dropped by to tell somebody today to press. To press. I know we don't always understand what's taking place in our lives. Sometimes it seems that things are unfair. I was like, Lord, I'm doing everything I know to do, but this happened. And, you know, God, I'm, I'm, and, and we had this conversation yesterday about the word try. You know, I, I feel like sometimes try is a cop out. Either you're going to do or you're not. Um, you're going to put forth the effort or you're not. And so, you know, we will say, Lord, I'm trying. And, and, you know, I believe the Holy Spirit will say, well, what does that try look like to you? Because what I see is that you're making excuses for not being obedient to what I've spoken. Some of us may be going through some situations right now where it seems like, like I said, things aren't working. Like no matter how much you do, how much you, how much you're doing right, how much you're making right choices, things are still happening that may seem contrary to your plan. And I want you to understand that if it's your plan, that's why things may be happening the way that they are. We've got to be about our father's business. We've got to know who we are, know who we are. And we've got to lay aside our plan and our agenda to take on what it is that God wants for us. This scripture says, I haven't attained. I've not gotten there. But one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to forget those things that are behind me. I'm not going to allow challenges of my past to hinder me. I'm not going to allow allow words that people have spoken against me to get in the way. I'm going to focus on what's ahead. I'm going to focus on what it is that God has spoken. I'm going to focus on what it is that God wants me to do. And I'm going to press. It doesn't mean that those days when you're pressing and you're pressing and you're pressing and you're pressing, I think some of us press and press and press until we get depressed because we're trying to press in the direction we want to go in instead of pressing according to God's plan. Can I help you? See, all of this is is about not us having our way, 
but us operating in his will for our lives. That's what it's about. Nothing that we do is about us. It's all about him. And the sooner we get into that mindset and as soon as the sooner we embrace that our lives are not our own, that when we are children and we, we, we know who daddy is and that our lives belong to him, that we are here to fulfill his plan for our lives. We're not here. You know, we want stuff and he'll give us the desires of our heart. Scripture says, delight yourself in the Lord and he'll give you the desire. He'll do that for you. But he wants us to be obedient to what he wants for us. And so I just want to encourage you. God knows what you're going through. But you have to be careful today to just let go of what's behind you. Forget those things that are behind you and begin to press towards what it is that God has called you to. We don't have it all. We've not. We don't even understand. We don't understand it all. But we got to stay in the press, y'all. The Holy Spirit told me to tell somebody today to just continue to press. <laughs> Praise God, Stephanie. Praise God. God bless you, Pastor John. Hey, Amanda. God bless you. Hey, Donna. Hey, all y'all. I just had to I had to just stop what I was doing and encourage somebody today to, to press. Oh, God, to just press in. Press toward the mark of the price of the whole high calling in Christ Jesus. Yeah. Some of us today even complained. God, what is going on? God, why is this happening? God, what is this about? He says, stop asking me because a lot of times you already know what it is. You were doing some things that you want to do, not things I asked you to do, not things I even instructed you to do. You were doing some things you wanted to do. And in that, you got consequences because y'all know... Everything we do, everything we say, there are consequences. There are consequences. You break the law of the land and you get caught, you get a ticket, you go to jail. You break the laws of the kingdom, you don't get rewarded. <laughs> Come on now. And that's why it's important. Yes, God, that's why it's important, y'all. We got to have the mind of Christ. We, we've got to operate with the mind of Christ. You've got to be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And for some, you may be in that place today that your mind has not been renewed. And that's why you're challenged with pressing. That's why you're challenged with forgetting those things which are behind you. That's why you're challenged. You're still holding on to, to seeds that were sown when you were a child. You're still holding on to an opinion of man. You're still holding on to a mindset that you had in, before you knew truth about who God is and what he does desires to do in your life. And so you, you struggle now with moving forward in what God says, my brothers and my sisters today, let's do what the word says in Philippians. I'm going to read it to you again. Whoo. I'm going to start back at verse 12 in chapter three. And this is a spirit fill. Not that I've already attained or am already perfected, but I press on that I may lay hold of that for which Christ Jesus has also laid hold of me. Do you understand that? Like there's a plan. Do you, do you hear that? There's a plan. He said, brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead. Moving forward, Pastor John Muncy, moving forward, which means that we're forgetting those things which are behind and we're pressing forward. Verse 14 says, I press toward the goal of the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. I'm pressing. I'm pressing. I don't have it all, but I'm pressing. I don't have it all, but I'm pressing. I don't know it all, but I'm pressing. I am moving forward towards that which God has for me. And he wants to bless us. He wants us to prosper. He said he wants us to prosper and be in good health, even as our soul prospers. He wants that for us. But we got to want it for ourselves, which means we have to make some adjustments sometime. And one thing we have to do is lay aside weights 
and forget the past. We got to press, y'all. We got to press. I just wanted to encourage you tonight. Whew, that's right. <laughs> that's right. In the midst of it, you got to press. I think about us as women when we give in birth. When we go into labor, when those contractions come, they tell us to push. That's that's a type of press. We got to suck it up and push it out. That's a type of press, y'all. Even when you're going through, even when the struggles are hard, you got to position yourself and get in a posture to move forward, to bring forth what it is that God desires for you. That's all I got. I love y'all. I just wanted to drop by and encourage you with that word on tonight. Whatever it is you're going through. Whatever kind of way you're feeling, whatever you face today, and you like might have murmured and complained, reassess that thing. Make sure that you're in the will of God. Make sure you're doing as led by the Holy Spirit. Forget those things that happened yesterday. Forget those things that happened last month, last year, whatever. Forget those things which are behind and begin to press, press, press toward that which God has for you. We don't have it all, but if we stay in the press, we'll certainly get there. I love you all. God bless you. Be empowered.